in today's video, we'll show you how to create this falcon inspired makeup look. So welcome to my channel or welcome back. For this tutorial, you will need a razor, just kidding, a glue stick, concealer and foundation, a foundation or setting powder, a small brush, an eyebrow spoolie, an eyebrow pencil, and a brow powder or eyeshadow. All of the products and brushes used will be listed in the description down below. Begin with clean skin and brows. I used rubbing alcohol to get rid of any excess oils in the brow hairs. So starting just before your arch, apply the glue stick swirling into your brows, trying to completely coat the hairs. Then use an eyebrow spoolie to brush them straight up. After it's a little less sticky, flatten your eyebrows by rolling over them with your glue stick, pressing down hard. Let it dry until the glue is no longer sticky, and then let it dry some more. When the glue is perfectly dry, add a layer of setting powder or powder foundation. Then carefully, in an upward motion, apply another coat of glue. Wait until it dries down a little, then flatten it with the glue stick and continue to let the glue dry. While we're waiting, I will quickly explain my costume. The idea for the costume and the face makeup was inspired by T'Pol from Star Trek Enterprise. The outfit, however, is a more modern science officer uniform, like the ones seen in the Star Trek reboot movies, which of course are based on the uniforms from Star Trek the original series and the original Spock. The eyebrows are mostly based off of Spock from Star Trek Discovery. Thank you CBS for sexy Spock. Feel your eyebrows. If they still feel a little bumpy, repeat the process again until smooth. I did a total of five coats. When all the glue is dry, set the eyebrows with powder and then use a damp cloth or rubbing alcohol to smooth the edges. If you have dark colored eyebrows, grab an orange concealer or an orange red lipstick and apply it lightly over the color peeking through. Allow to set, then follow with your foundation. At this point, I set my eyebrows with powder, then decided to add another coat of foundation where needed. Now I applied the concealer to the rest of my face and added a little over any darkness still on the brows. Then set the whole thing with powder. Take a brow pencil and first draw basic shape. I made the inner eyebrows a little bit lower than my own. Then drew a straight brow out just farther than the outer edge of my eye. Follow the width of your natural brow on the top and connect both lines in a point. Fill in with the eyebrow pencil using upward strokes and carefully blend your real brows with a spoolie. Add more product if needed. Now go over the whole brow with brow powder to make it all blend together. Yeah. 
Fix any mistakes and sharpen the edges with concealer and a flat brush. Now for a quick rundown of the rest of the makeup. For the eyes, I used a matte light yellow shadow on the lids and blended a warm matte brown in the crease. I slightly stretched the shadow out following the shape of the eyebrows and finished the eyes with some black liquid liner in a tiny wing. I did a light contour with bronzer. A subtle highlight. And for the lips, I used a matte pinkish nude liquid lipstick. Then I added a couple coats of mascara, allowed it to dry, and curled my lashes. To finish the whole look, I teased my hair clipped my bangs in a side part, then tied it back in a low ponytail. And finally, added some elf ears. I really enjoyed making this video and I hope you enjoyed watching it. Thank you so much for joining me. Live long and prosper. Be sure to like this video and let me know your thoughts. If you want more, you can check out my Instagram, at Subscribe to my channel here, or watch another video over here.